this is Joe, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at creating our PWA icons using Affinity Designer. Now, I'm gonna be using Affinity Designer, but this also applies to Affinity Photo. Both workflows are identical. So we, pr we provide templates for both apps. Um, you can actually, I think, open up the files in either app, um, but the workflow is identical, no matter if you're using Affinity Photo or Designer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and create a super simple icon and show you how to export that. So here we are in Affinity Designer, and you'll notice that I've already had some pre-baked layers. And the important one here is this create icon here layer, okay? So anything inside this group should be where your icon is designed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag out uh, the Weaver Space SVG, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just center it right there. Okay, perfect. Um, now you'll notice that the, these grid, okay, you can turn this grid on and off. It, it's just kind of there for, you know, proportions. It's kind of like the that golden ratio icon grid. Um, so it's there for your, it won't be exported for your icon at all. Um, it's outside. So even if you keep it there visible, um, it will not be there when you export, okay? Um, so there I just added my icon. I'm gonna go ahead and change the, let's bring in the Weaver Space Blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Weaver Space Blue. Go ahead and copy that color. We're gonna paste that right there. And boom, there is my beautiful, amazing Weaver Space logo on the Weaver Space Navy Blue. Um, I'm gonna say, hey, this is good. Let's call this, let's call this good. Now what's great about this is these round corners are added for you automatically. So no matter what image or, you know, what you design, um, the proper radius is going to be applied to your icon, the same radius that's used across all iOS icons, okay? Um, to kind of illustrate that, let's go ahead and I'm just going to hide the Weaver Space logo. And let's add, or let's just add this uh, foundation one. Let's go ahead and you'll notice that if I just make this really big, um, obviously I'm blowing it up past um, its size. What you'll see here is, even though the image is large, it gets cropped to the proper, um, you know, rounding. So, um, yeah, really, really cool. This makes it really, um, you know, dummy proof so that, you know, when we export this, we get the exact shape that we need. So go ahead and uh, I'm just going to delete that. Let's turn back on our Weaver Space logo. And uh, let's show you the export. Okay, so... What we're gonna do is up at the upper left-hand corner, we're gonna go to the export persona. It's the third button. Okay, we're gonna click that. What you'll notice here is we're now in Affinity's export persona. And what I've done here is I've already created um, an export persona that contains all of these sizes that we need. So what I can do is go ahead and all you have to do is click these export slices. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna export this to my desktop in the PWA, and let's just say export. Um, yes, I, I have icons in there, just, yep, replace them. And if we look at that folder, you will see that now I have all of the icons that you can then use to drag and drop into your Rapid Weaver project file. So that was it, pretty simple, right? This is really simple, This this, template file for creating icons is going to be really, really cool. Um, it makes creating these icons a cinch. So hope you enjoy that. We will see you over on the Weaver Space community and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.